You're looking for a resolution to this, it sounds like. I would like a resolution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought it would be a... Frankly, I got the impression that they were talking about going down there and looking in a hotel or an apartment or something. I didn't know what to think. I mean, seeing the coverage this morning, I don't know what to think. It's, it's just not what I was expecting. Chase, what do you got? I see a lot of the same stuff, the smiling that is, is going on here. And when he says, I would very much like a resolution, he's grabbing on to the words that are offered to him. Uh, he's not saying, I want this to happen. I want that to happen. I wish this would happen. He just grabs the word that this person says. So we may be dealing with someone with, some, I think, some, uh, uh, some kind of a mental problem. And the reporter here is using very well-timed elicitation techniques. So he didn't ask a question. He made a statement and then shut his mouth. And that silence made this kid, I won't even say his name. I don't think he deserves to have it on, on the air, uh, but made this kid keep talking. And uh, I think there there is definitely a, a potential here for some serious mental stuff going on. Greg? This guy, when they said when he says, "I hope for resolution," downright eye movement. That would be okay if you thought if we did not see that other video. I would think that if your wife is missing and you think they're going to find her somewhere, hope for resolution is a good idea. But then he's got this weird little smile thing he does, and I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Just a couple of notes because he does this weird little smile and then he starts talking in words that have no meaning. He edits as he's speaking and doesn't finish a sentence. He's not conveying information. All that looks bad. Anytime I see that, it looks bad. Ultimately, this guy ends up dead. I don't think they ever press. I don't know if they press charges or not, but you can go look the case up. It's a pretty big one out of Salt Lake City. I would not trust anybody who said, oh, yeah, I'd like it. I'd like it if this thing came to resolution. <laughs> and then started to give me non-details. It just doesn't feel like you're telling the truth. And people who are truthful, we all know their messaging, their words, everything goes together. They punctuate what they're thinking. Their face is light. They move their faces. They're talking about something and they're being truthful. When it starts to look like a bad Kung Fu movie, something is wrong. And this is a bad Kung Fu movie. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, again, like, I listen to a lot of people talking, I'm pretty smart. So even if you're not quite making sense, my brain is able to make up a lot of the difference for you. And I can kind of go, yeah, I think I know kind of where you're going with this because you've given me enough. I have no idea where he's going on this. I have no idea where he's come from, where he's going. So he seems to be in a very different land from me. And that's always worrying because I can fantasize with everybody else and I can go on a flight of fancy and I can join you on an idea, but I can't at the moment join him anywhere. That's, that's troubling. Uh, we see these eyelids go down twice slowly in a, a gesture for me of acceptance of this situation. So, you know, if, if, if my wife were missing i wouldn't be wanting to accept the situation i'd be wanting to fight to have this situation change he's got a lot of cold acceptance of this situation there's the smile it's not what we expect in this kind of situation um and he says this was not what i was expecting and there is a sense there of resignation around all of this and all of that together for me is very very troubling because we've now got somebody who has is not getting what they wanted and they have resigned now and at that point yeah we could be in a in a lot of trouble and it transpires everybody got themselves into well you know there was a perpetrator and and some people had zero responsibility for what transpired from this zero responsibility so it's it's a troubling one but hopefully for you you've seen some of the things that we might look out for that would 
trouble us. It says nothing other than you want to investigate, you want to maybe go a little bit further, or you want to get out immediately, leave, go somewhere else, don't be in the same vicinity as some of that. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. And I'll tell you, Mark, what you're seeing when you when you can't figure out what's happening, there is a sheen there. There's a whole space. This guy has a whole thing going on over here, and he's standing back here behind it. He knows what's happened. He knows what he's going to do. I think he's got a good idea what he's going to do to get out of this. And so that's what you're seeing. It doesn't make any sense because it doesn't matter to him. And mm -hmm. you're seeing that smile because I think he's, I think it, you can call it duper's delight, whatever you want to call it. But that's what it is. We're seeing that. And I, I call it a shield because it's or, or like this thing that's around him where he doesn't care. You're just seeing whatever's coming out on a very shallow, very shallow, um, output of what's, of, of what he's letting you see of him. That's what we're seeing there. That's the way those people are. Uh, and those things happen. I've only seen it a couple of times, but that's what we're looking at there. So I'm familiar with that. You're looking for a resolution to this, it sounds like. I would like a resolution. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I thought it would be a... Frankly, I got the impression that they were talking about going down there and looking in a hotel or an apartment or something. I didn't know what to think. I mean, seeing the coverage this morning, I don't know what to think. It's, it's just not what I was expecting. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.